What's crackalackin' everyone, MG here, and I am pleased to bring you a live commentary playthrough of Resident Evil Code Veronica X for the PS2. So, uh, let's get it. Resident Evil. Resident Evil. Three months later. Your identification number is WKD4496. <sighs> Welcome to your new home. <laughs> Her name is Claire Redfield. We caught her trespassing in our Paris lab facility 10 days ago. She apparently infiltrated the complex looking for her lost brother, Chris Redfield, one of the surviving members of RPD's famous STARS teams. If I were equipped with a lighter, I could see outside. Alright, let's go. <laughs> the, same, the same.
same synth that was used in Ocarina of Time when you uh, when you're fucking with the Deku tree. Don't at me. Perfect. Perfect. Go on. Get out of here. This place is finished. And I don't know. It might have been a special forces team. But in any case, this prison's been taken over. The troops have been wiped out. What are you saying? You're free to leave the complex. But you may as well know, you have no chance of getting off this island. And what about you? What are you going to do? Don't worry about me. Alright, so here we are. Resident yeah. Evil Code Veronica X. And it's many permutations. Uh, just to let you guys know, uh, I own uh, Code Veronica for literally every fucking platform known to man. I own it for the Dreamcast, the PS2, um, GameCube, uh, Xbox 360, you know what I'm saying, ROM hacks. And uh, right now we are playing the emulation version uh, using my original PS2 disc. Because uh, that's the really cool thing about this PS2 emulation. You could use real discs if you want. And uh, I don't know how long you guys have been following me and my journey in content creation, but my PlayStation 2 died on stream while I was playing Persona 4. And uh, it felt like a part of my soul died that night. So here we are playing some Code Veronica X, baby. Back to we're, uh, we're back to tank. We're back to tank. This motherfucker is body blocking me, man. That is like the worst outcome that could ever happen there. Like that first zombie always grabs me, but then now he was straight up literally blocking me, body blocking me. Push priority, guys. Good old 
good old scumbag Steve. I mean, what what can we say about him that hasn't been said already? The man is a creeper. Let me tell you something right now. So, yeah, so... Back to what I was saying earlier, what's really cool about this emulator is you can play original discs. So, you know, I can... I can... Uh, play my PS2 games again so it's really good and what we're doing right now is we are doing the legendary um, green herb hack or er, exploit which I will show you guys right now and that should be it as you can see, we have unlimited fucking herbs, because you know what I'm saying? I figured it's been a while since I played this, and, you know, I don't want to subject you guys to me dying, you know, over and over again over some stupid shit, so we might as well have the heals, baby. Okay. So yeah, you know, it, 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 it definitely feels good being back here in uh, Code Veronica. You know what I'm saying? Um, it feels good going back to the tank. And um, one of the things that really makes coming home feel really good is I... It's like I said, you know, I, it feels like I'm back home. Um, and at the same time... Hold on, let's deal with this guy. Okay, I thought I could actually grab the M100Ps without getting hit, but it's all good. The good thing is that I at least dodged the zombie that was on the floor, so that's good. So, you know, it, 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 it just feels good coming back to tank, and the fact that I'm at peace with OTS Resident Evils just makes it even more uh, sweet. And, uh, we all know, we, we all know who's, uh, underneath the, uh, the stairs there. <laughs> so, uh, back, back to, uh, talking about the game here. So, objectively, in my opinion, the best version, the best looking version of this game is on the Dreamcast via a VGA connection. And uh, second would be the GameCube because it has a better YPBPR com component uh, video signal. It's cleaner, in my opinion. And then of course, you know, the PS2 uh, after that, and then the 360 remasters, air quotes, remaster more like a upscale, but, um, the thing, the thing about, uh, Code Veronica is it's a, it's a, it's a really, really dark fucking game. Like, it is really hard to capture. Deposit any metallic items you have in the security box. Without doing any additional, you know, filters, fucking, um, yeah, just man, just just adding filters to make it visible. You know what I'm saying? Because Code Veronica is a really, really dark fucking game. I don't know what it is. It, it may have been like the transition to different hardware, or may, or maybe just, you know, like I said, the various permutations of this game. You know, so it's just in the hands of too many different de uh, developers, you know what I'm saying? So, it just makes it hard. That's, you know, that's uh, that's my thought on the matter, on why there's like, uh, no consistency. Like, every version of this game is just so dark. Please but, you know, any metallic item you have. that's Please just, uh... That's just what I've been observing throughout the years of playing this game. 
So what I did was I just triggered the uh, alarm system. Oops. I triggered the alarm system so that uh, the zombies wouldn't bust through. You know what I'm saying? They won't bust through the windows. Because it, 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 it can get pretty messy, you know, when they bust through in. Oh shit, it sounds like, it sounds like someone's here. What the fuck's going on, man? Is, is someone jacking off to some porn hub here? What's going on? Of Why course, it's ready? Steve. What are you doing here? Chris Jagging off to Pornhub. Is he a relative of yours or something? You mean my brother? Ah. Your sibling. Well, it seems your brother is under surveillance by Umbrella. What? I've got to contact Leon and tell him to let my brother know he's being monitored. It's a good thing I have access to an outside connection from here. Well, that file shows the latitude and longitude of this place. <laughs> Why don't you send your brother the coordinates and ask him to come help? Thanks. I'll do that. Hey, I was just kidding. There's no way he could get here, even if he is your brother. Yes, he can. I'm sure of it. No way. He won't come. You'll just end up disappointed if you rely on others. Believe me, I know. Okay. What was that all about? <laughs> Steve straight stomping out. Street Steve straight up stomping out. Hella pissed off and shit. Oh my god, dude. Fucking Steve, man. Literally like the worst character creepy ass character too and if you guys remember in the freak side chronicles um how he was looking at claire when she was on the computer testament testament of that <laughs> oh you know i mean hey it's uh it's it's come back steve what can we say right I think I was supposed to scan this. Straight up the amnesia, man. This game right here, though, it, it is, it is definitely one of the longest, and not only one of the longest, but also the hardest games in the Resident Evil series, in my opinion, in in the true tank control Resident Evils. And uh, a good friend of mine. Uh, him and I were like, you know, just scratching our heads, like, the fuck, what the fuck is going on in this game? Like, I, you know, it's like, it's like I have amnesia, you know, I, I had amnesia every time coming back to this game because it's so long, and um, I, uh, I actually class this game alongside Resident Evil Zero as like the they're like the they're like the black sheep of the family, you know what I'm saying? Like they're still family, you know. You 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 will still you know have their back no matter what because they're family. They're still part of it. But, you know, they're still not one of the favorite members of the family, you know what I'm saying? So that's pretty much my view on uh Code Veronica. It's like, it's still a very good game, don't get me wrong, because, you know, it's part of the tank family, but, uh, it's not, uh, truthfully, it's really not one of the best, uh, games that Capcom has put out. It's kind of sad, too, because, um, uh, because every time I come back to Code Veronica, or Resident Evil Zero, the black sheeps of the family. You know, I, I grow to love it more. Alright, so we got the two dogs here. If you, uh, you know, if you run straight lines, you should be able to make it out without getting bit. Perfect. So you should be fine there. I'm not sure if I grabbed the fire extinguisher. Okay, I did. Um, 
So I I hug the left side of that of that wall because Capcom is fucking sneaky as fuck, and they they place that zombie there during the uh, at that blind spot where your ass will get fucking ate. You know what I'm saying? And not in a good way. Not in any way that Claire deserves. You know what I'm saying? I'm just using my handgun bullets here just to save M100P ammo. Oh my god. I knew I knew I was getting too close. You know, we gotta get the fucking briefcase here. With the fucking alloy. Undetected, you know, from metal detectors. Alright, so now we gotta head back to uh, the CNC machine so we can print that shit out, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, let's um, let's dive a little bit deeper here into um, Code Veronica. So, in my opinion, I truly believe that Capcom is in a really great position to make this game great. You know what I'm saying? Like, um, compared to the other installments of Resident Evil, you no longer need to hallmark of classic REs. The game has to tell, ask you, hey, you want to get rid of this key? Versus, like, just having liberty of uh, destroying it, which is one of the things that I did appreciate from Resident Evil Zero and modern day um, Resident Evils. It gave you the option to discard. So, back to what I was saying, you know, like, Capcom is in a really good position to make this game incredible, and the reason why I say that is because, um, Code Veronica itself was kind of shorthanded, and, uh, the reason why I say that is because, if you think about it, you don't really get many prizes in this game. I mean, yeah, you get a rocket launcher, that's tradition. But, you know, you don't get any special costumes, there aren't any additional modes, things like that, um, that really, what word am I looking for, uh, I guess, replay the game, you know what I'm saying? Because you get this really fucking awesome costume for Claire, you know, she's wearing like the booty shorts and everything like that, but you can only play that in the special mode is kind of annoying to me because it would have been awesome to replay the game with her wearing that costume and I mean yeah you get the rocket launcher but it's like what Resident Evil doesn't give you the rocket launcher right so I think Capcom is in a really good position to make this game super good and um, and I think it deserves it because uh, this game this game uh, deserves a lot more love, straight up. It really does. And um, and 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 since I'm very open and accepting to new age Re's and RT OTS Re's, um, I'm ready for it. You know what I'm saying? Oh my god, I thought I was gonna do it. I thought I was actually gonna make it. Why was that soldier zombie there? You know what, I'm not even gonna question it. Like, it's RNG, whatever. But yeah, so, back to that. Um, I'm ready, man. I'm, I'm ready, baby. I want, I want, I want Claire in Code Veronica full-on RE Engine beauty right there on my screen 4k fucking 60 60 FPS let's fucking go you know what I'm saying on the fucking Series X or PS5 I'm getting both by the way and if you guys are watching this in the future shout out to you because at the time of this recording 
Code Veronica remake is has not been created yet. And um like always, I'm very hopeful for these remakes because if uh if you watch older videos I talk about remake too being excited for it and you know of course if you know me I was very critical of that game but now I, I love it and I'm ready I, I cannot wait for Code Veronica to come to the RE engine straight up can't wait it's gonna be awesome it's gonna be great and uh, if you think about it like Capcom already have the a they already have the assets right like Claire is, it, she's all there, you know, like, all the models are there from Remake 2, and chronologically, this literally takes place months after the Raccoon, uh, the Raccoon City uh, incident in, um, in RE2, so, technically, she shouldn't look different, you know what I'm saying? It's kind of like, you know, if you guys look at old pictures of yourself, you know, when you were younger, like, you literally looked the same for, like, uh, for, like, years until you, like, really, really change, you know? So I'm just using the M, uh, M100Ps here just to quickly dispose of the dogs, but for the most part, I'm trying, I'm trying to save my ammo, you know what I'm saying? for the, the Bandersnatches. Alright, so here we go. We have fucking uh, Alfred's private pool here with a fucking full-size submarine. Because, you know, rich people are fucking weird like that. You know, I guess if you have that kind of fucking money, that kind of liquidity, you would just, uh, yeah, you would just have a pool uh, in your backyard or your uh, court uh, courtyard, you know, outside your palace, and have a fucking submarine in there, you know, uh, I think there, I think there are other ways that you can, you know, use your wealth, but hey, it ain't my business, business to tell anyone else how to handle their money, but one thing I can say for sure, though, is I'm sure that, uh, Alfred Sr., the grandpa, He's probably rolling in his grave right now. Just like, what is my... Like, he's probably like, what the fuck is my grandson spending my money on? You know? It's like, I guess it just depends on Alfred's relationship with his grandpa. Um, you know, he's dead now, so it really doesn't matter. But, you know, you gotta, you gotta at least respect your fucking grandparents' legacy, right? Am I right? It's like, uh, you know, uh, Alfred's, um, Alfred's grandpa is one of the fucking founding members of, of Umbrella, right? So, he's, he, he's got a huge stake in this. He should be getting some money, right? Uh, a lot of freaking money. It's like if your grandpa was, like, the founding member of, like, you know, Microsoft or something. So, there's gotta be some money in that, right? Okay, so if you're playing this game casually, you would get the ID card upstairs in the um, save room. But you know, years of playing this game, you already know the code by heart, so it's NTC0394. You know, the same, the same computer uh, operating system and interface as Resident Evil 2. You know, and and one, because technically they're they've they all happened in the same year, right? So nothing should change. Just like how organizations still use older versions of Windows, you know, depending on the org. Like you know, I, I worked in some places where they still use Windows 98, you know. <laughs> so crazy shit. And uh, right there, underneath the um, underneath the uh, cabinet, there, that's the the card that you need to unlock the terminal. So, 
um, for all my casual heads out there. That's how you do it. Okay, so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna put away some stuff. Uh, the briefcase, the bowgun rounds, the empty extinguisher, because I want to um, use it for Chris's scenario a little bit later, you know? And I'm grabbing green herbs um, to place in the storage bin because, you know, you guys know me, I'm gonna fucking forget. I'm gonna motherfucking forget to uh, bring that over to Chris. I, I always forget, like, when, when, when the scenario changes, I always forget to put away items for Chris. And then, you know... Chris is gonna have a he's gonna have a harder harder time dealing with shit because I didn't leave him the goodies, you know what I'm saying? But you know, my man Chris. Chris Deadfield, he can handle it. He can handle it. If anyone can handle it, it'd be Chris. Alright, so this hallway is gonna have like a fuck ton of zombies, so we're gonna have to deal with them carefully. Just gonna reload manually through the menu. You know what I'm saying? Can't be too, can't be too safe. There you go. See? And the grab animation for the zombies, you know, takes a million fucking years. Okay, we're gonna grab this red herb here. You know. <laughs> The thing about Code Veronica zombies is very interesting. They're kind of like, to me, they're kind of like a fusion of RE, OG RE, Resident Evil um, zombies. Uh, a fusion of that, of RE zombies and RE2. Because, um, because of the way they move and how crazy they're their active hitboxes are like uh, Code Veronica zombies can not only turbo but they can also phantom grab you like uh, classic RE which is interesting to me and uh, but the but the funny thing about it is like once you get really used to Code Veronica's movement and uh, ob observing the zombie patterns um, it's actually pretty easy to dodge them they I, 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 as far as difficulty I would put them up there with remake one so, uh, let's see this weird-ass shit. It's coming up here. Let's watch this. rich people. Fucking weird. <laughs> fucking Alfred Strait pulled the wings out of that fucking dragonfly and dropped it into fucking ants, man. You gotta be one sick motherfucker to do that kind of shit, man. And here we go, the gold Lugers, man. Wouldn't it be cool to own one of those? I would love to own one of those fucking Luger. Like, I would just want to own it, just to have it in my collection. Maybe I would even take it out to the range, but I don't know, man. I'd be scared to do that because, you know, motherfuckers out there are probably going to try to jack it. Trying to jack my fucking uh, Luger, you know what I'm saying? Okay. So, what I need to do first... Let's go grab this first aid spray here in the bathroom. So the cool thing about the lighter is uh, it uh, it prevents bats from you know eating uh, Claire's kitty. 
they're like afraid of the uh, of the lighter. It's like whenever it's active, they don't do anything to you, so it's really nice. Yeah, help me, Steve. Okay, yeah, we have to save Steve. You know, I never really experimented. To see what happens if you don't save him, but we have to. We have to. Let's go. So the solution is C and E. Charlie and Echo. Thanks to you. Looks cool, huh? Oh, I need those. Give them to me. You gotta be kidding. I found it and I'm keeping it. Fine. Let's make a deal. I'll trade you for something fully automatic. See you around, Claire. Adios. Hey, wait! Steve! <sighs> Scumbag Steve, man. What can we say about Mr. Burnside? I mean, that hasn't already been said. He is a very interesting cat, let me tell you. And I actually, I am looking forward to seeing him in RE Engine. I, I really hope that Capcom is remaking this, guys. I really do. I really do. Officers, if you're in command of a backwater base like this one, how dare you? The Ashford family is among the world's first and finest. My grandfather is one of the original founders of Umbrella Inn. Now tell me, why have you attacked this installation? Attacked? Shortly after you arrived, my base was attacked. You must have informed your people of its location. I still don't follow you. I really don't know anything about that. Unacceptable! How can you deny it? My base has been destroyed. And thanks to you, the experimental T-Virus was released, creating countless zombies and monsters. Tell me, who do you work for? Who sent you? <laughs> Have it your way, then. You're just a rat in a cage anyway. I'll be sure to keep you entertained before I dispose of you. <laughs> oh, Alfred. Fucking weirdo. Alright. Freaking uh, Alfred straight feeling himself. That could have been an opening for Claire to pop a cap in his dumb ass. Straight up. Motherfucker was straight closing his eyes and he had his arm up as if he was like Caesar or some shit. Some type of emperor. Fucking wealthy people, man. They're so weird. Okay, anyway. Let's put that away. Oops. Put that away. Okay, we should be good. Yeah, just uh Alfred man. Weirdo. I can't wait to see I can't wait to see that guy in um, Code Veronica remake. It's gonna be awesome. And you know, I think um, I think the transition from OTS to tank is much easier, in my opinion. It might be because of my years of experience being a tank control soldier. It just uh, it feels good, man. It feels really good. 
and uh, you know I've, I've probably put in about maybe 400 500 hours into remake 2 you know so far and uh, and it's and it's looking like uh, that has not affected my lines at all they're still pretty clean in my opinion and here we go a fucking submarine guys straight up Alfred straight big ball in right here straight big time in can you imagine being that wealthy you're just like yeah you know I inherited all of this money let me just build this fucking submarine here in this pool I swear to god man I, I bet you I bet you Alfred's grandpa was not feeling this idea it's like this is my legacy man you you spending all this money on a motherfucking uh, submarine oh, th th this is one thing that's really great about Code Veronica you get a side pack for free really early in the game it's fantastic um, but you know in in Alfred's defense at least he is you know still working with things like the t-virus and it's kind of funny because uh, Alfred is so isolated from everything that in his book the t-virus is still like the best meanwhile months ago the g-virus you know was wrecking havoc in uh, in in Raccoon City so it's uh, it just it to me it's just kind of funny how how early how early the internet was at the time that this game was developed because communication really wasn't that easy compared to how it is now like nowadays all you can do is just all nowadays you can just send a text message you can FaceTime you can call uh, anytime you can DM drop a message on their social whatever preferred social media platform they are it's like it's really nowadays it's really not hard to find someone you know what I'm saying or communicate with anyone so it's uh, it's interesting how it's like that in this okay so we about to play some dino crisis right now you know what I'm saying right here messing around with the cranes shout out to Shinji Mikami you know what I'm saying Coming up here is going to be a pretty intense fucking dodge. Uh, I'm going to see if I can pull it off. I might just, you know, end up killing them instead. Or I might just get bit, who knows. But, uh, yeah, let's see, uh, let's see how we do this. Come on, come on, come on. Holy shit, boys. We actually did it. Wow. Damn. I'm actually surprised. Honestly, I'm like, wow. I can't believe we actually pulled that off. So, alternatively, what you can do is you can grab the biohazard card, do a quick turn, and run a straight and slightly curved to the right line and you should be able to cleanly run between uh, the run between all the zombies because the the way it works is when the zombies come up and you grab the biohazard card it will create a divide in the middle of the group of four zombies and you should be able to cut through that cut, cut between them through a a really clean line it depends how good you are you know I mean I don't run the game I mean eventually I would like to learn it learn the uh, any percent uh, route but I just play it safe man I just run around you know what I'm saying so yeah now you know how we do it here
Resident Evil, man. These complex fucking contraptions just to do simple shit. I love it. Alright. So, next order of business is we gotta grab the crossbow. You know what I'm saying? Classic. Classic weapon. Claire. And the, the crossbow in Code Veronica is actually really fucking weak. It is not as powerful as it was in re in re I was about to say remake two, in Resident Evil two, where it would just wipe the floor with zombos. In Code Veronica, it's very very weak. Like, it's not even worth using, honestly. Oh, here we go. The worm. Got the worm here, baby. About to eat Claire. This motherfucker tried to for her, baby. Alright, let's get out of here. Ooh. Honestly, I thought I was about to get hit there. I would have been fucking pissed. Okay. So, like I said earlier, first order of business is we gotta grab the crossbow. You know what I'm saying? Typical Resident Evil fashion, man. You can proceed through the next phase of the game without grabbing the crossbow, it will make the game harder. But, you know, playing this game for so fucking long, you just know to do certain things. My man out here doing OT, man. What the hell is going on? It's like the whole island is getting bombarded, man. You still trying to work? Who's gonna pay you? HR's dead. Payroll Level is dead. Oh, shit. Honestly, I'm surprised oh, that Claire's booty close. did not get caught. I am, sh I am shocked. I am shocked that Claire's booty did not get caught on that shit. Okay, uh, next order of business. Um, let's take care... of these zombies here. Oh my god. I, that was really stupid. Just trying to grab the map. I figured, you know, why not show it off? Even though I don't use the fucking map. honestly with all um, tank Resident Evils I never use the fucking map I just commit everything to memory it's easier um, the only time where maps are actually useful is um, Silent Hill like in Silent Hill the map is actually uh, is, is a requirement it is a requirement Okay, so over here, we gotta deal with these guys. There's gonna be a lot of zombies here, and there's gonna be a lot of bowgun bullets. We need them for, uh... 
I think um, the bowgun bullets are actually very useful against bander snatchers because they're flesh. Oh god. Come on, man. Probably gonna have to reload. Fucking sizzle dick right here. Come on. Are you not dead? Really? Are you bleeding? Okay, thank god. Yeah, so, uh, back to the whole bowgun. Uh, the bowgun itself is weak as fuck in Code Veronica. But, what you can do is you can uh, enhance the bowgun rounds with uh, flame rounds, which will then turn um, the bowgun into quite literally one of the strongest weapons in the game. Like, uh, bowgun ammo will fucking tear up Tyrant and literally any fucking boss in the game. So, you know, that's probably where, um, uh, Capcom uh, developer's logic, uh, stemmed from. They're just like, okay, let's just nerf the fuck out of, um, out, out, nerf the fuck out of, uh, I'm surprised I actually hit that, that input. I thought I was about to get bit. Um, that's some CRT shit right there. That's probably their logic. They were like, okay, uh, Bow, the bow gun was very powerful against zombos in Resident Evil 2, so let's um, nerf the fuck out of it, give players an overabundance of bow gun arrows, give the player the choice to decide when and where to use it, you know, i.e., e.g., um, bow gun bolts are very useful against live targets, like, um, uh, Bander snatchers, you know, because your first instinct is to use the bowgun rounds on zombies. They're dead. Like they, they literally don't give a fuck if you shoot them in the leg. It doesn't hurt them. But use them on a bander snatch, then the game changes. So as you can see here, what I did was I just com I combined the go bun the bowgun powder flame rounds with my arrows, and it created ten rounds. I think you can get a total of 30 throughout the game. I'm not sure. Um, don't quote me on that. You know what I'm saying? Don't at me on this shit. Um, I think that's how much you get. Uh, I, I should be a better authority on this game. I say that every time I fucking play Code Veronica, man. Every time. That's okay. You know, Black Sheep. Still part of the family. I love it. If Claire wasn't in, if Claire wasn't starring in Code Veronica, I probably wouldn't be playing it as much, honestly, because you know Claire's my baby mama. So let's see if I'm actually gonna get shot here. This is a very scary part of the game. Oh, I got so lucky. Did you see that shit, guys? Alfred actually missed. Oh my god. He usually he usually gets me there. Okay, so we're gonna have to do some item management here. Um I'm trying to think here. Uh this is where we get the hemostatic medicine, which is awesome. So we can go back and save Rodrigo. Um, I should probably tell you guys now, I am going to save Rodrigo. You know what I'm saying? I gotta save my man. Because, you know, he, he, he busted us out here. Uh, let's put this green herb up here. Um, we gotta grab this. We're gonna grab the hemostatic meds. Ribbon. I'm trying to decide if I want to save here or not for safety, but I think we'll be okay, guys. I think we'll be alright. 
Trigger are probably one of the funniest cutscenes in this entire fucking game. <laughs> and you guys saw that rat, right? Welcome, Claire. Consider the area you are in a special playground I have prepared just for you. Please try and keep me amused, and do not disappoint me by dying too soon. I so want to enjoy this. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I can't. Whenever I hear Alfred <laughs> laughing like that, man, it just uh, it just cracks me up so much. It's too much. It's too much, baby. Very intense, Claire. Very intense. Yes. Okay, so, um... I'm still trying to decide what I want to do about this Bandersnatch. I think I will kill this fool with the bowgun. I should have probably brought my knife. Using the knife here is actually optimal. It's all good though. Okay, he's gonna slinky his way over. Oh god. Huh? There you go. That didn't really take that long. Oh my god, did I just really do that? I did. Okay, it's all good. Let's not panic. We we can still get more bowgun ammo. I'm just tripping because you know I didn't combine. I need to combine it with the flames. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Shining armor is here. You wish, but thanks for the help. <laughs> See, this is why you need me. I got your back. Whatever. Here, take these machine guns for me. You know the deal in exchange for your Lugers. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> Steve still has his fingers on the triggers of the Lugers. What? <laughs> this thing is too cool. Yes. Now this is my kind of weapon. All right. Huh? <laughs> hey. This thing's empty. You cheated me. Up there, plenty of ammo just for you. Way up there? Give me a boost and I'll get it for you. All right, all right. You're heavier than you look. Hurry up. This music, is Happy this music now. supposed to be romantic? Is this supposed to be romantic and cute? I don't think so, man. <laughs> what? I don't think so. Now that your knight has made his appearance, he can join you in your descent into death. Damn, Alfred. Very dramatic. Into your descent to death. <laughs> Sizzle dick. Okay, let's do it. Wait here, Claire. 
time to test out my new toy. <laughs> so one of the differences in Code Veronica and all the permutations is the original Dreamcast version. Steve's hair is uh, very much like Leonardo DiCaprio's. Because, you know, the game was made in the late 90s, the same time, uh, you know, that Leo was uh, killing the, the filmmaking game. You know, he was the young gun. He was the young stud at the time. So, it's only it's only natural that Capcom is like, oh, Leonardo DiCaprio is the... He, he's the voice of the generation. He's the he's the face of the generation. We gotta make sure that uh, we make a character that will resonate with uh, younger players. And it's like, okay, you know, honestly, when I first played uh, Code Veronica back in 01, Leo was not really the first person I thought of, but I only recognized that later in life. So it's interesting. It's interesting how that goes. Okay, he cannot survive that. Why do I hear another zombie? Where is he? Oh, there he is. You get a... You get a very special cutscene if you uh, skip all these zombies without, um touching them, have Claire do it, um, Steve has some bullshit to say, per usual arrangement. It was dirty work, but this area is now clean. See? You can depend on me. <laughs> you see? This thing is a lot more reliable than any person. Than people? Steve. What were you doing here? Who brought you here and where is your family? Shut up! I don't want to talk about it! Steve. Never mind. Let's get going. Claire's like, uh, I kind of feel sorry for you, but also at the same time I don't. So I'm just gonna play the neutral card. Steve, man. Scumbag Steve. Uh, what a guy. What a guy. Claire, are you okay? Steve, behind you! No. Steve. Wow. Steve. Scumbag Steve. Father. 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 
Dad used to work for Umbrella. He tried to steal information, intending to sell it off to the highest bidder. He was caught. His mom was killed. And we were sent here. Oh, Steve. Mm hmm. He was a fool to do something so reckless. So stupid. Okay, so I have this really crazy theory that um, that dude is not even Steve's dad. That uh, this is all part of some elaborate plot just so Steve can get uh, a sniff of the kitty. But you know, that's just me stirring the pot. Fucking tin hat moment from your boy. You know what I'm saying? Think about it like... It, is there any way to positively ID? Here we go, look at this. Look how weak the bowgun rounds are against zombies. Like, the, the, the bowgun used to tear up zombies in Remake 2. Remake 2, I mean, in RE2. And is it me, or is that hallway really fucking long? Like, every, in all versions, you know, running through that hallway, it, like, seems like it's moving slow in time. So. But yeah, back to that whole, uh, <laughs> into the whole conspiracy theory bullshit. It's like, I don't know, man. Is that really? Is that really your dad, Steve? But anyway, I mean, it, 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 it just shows, like, how stupid it is to integrate uh, work life with personal family life. It's like you, you run the risk of this weird shit. It's, uh, it's pretty scary, especially if you're dealing with this type of shit. Like, I would never work for Umbrella, yo. Straight up. I would never do that. It's so freaking scary. Like, um... I'm just trying to think like yeah you're you're at any moment an, an outbreak could happen you know your ass is dead as fried chicken because the security is not going to let you leave i'm sure that's part of security protocol if an outbreak were to happen your ass fucking your ass is gonna your ass is gonna go you're out of here baby which reminds me, I think I want to grab that, uh, the extra bogan rounds. Let me risk it all. Oh, let me pass, let me pass, let me pass! Oh my god, I'm so close. Ooh, there's a red herb there too. Mm, I wish I had room for that. Wait. Do I? No, I don't. That's my special, um, air quotes, special, uh, OG Kush. We don't want to touch that. Okay, let's go kill these dogs here, you know what I'm saying? fucking iframes when they growl. Interesting. Oh, I really want to go back for that red herb, just so I can put it in my bank for uh, for Chris later. And that's all good. I could come back for that shit anytime. You know what I'm saying? Gotta get my VIP card on. Boom. 
swipe it. The fucking black M MX card. You guys ever fucked with the black MX card? Those things are heavy, man. Let me tell you something right now. They're fucking heavy. You can feel it. Alright. So, let's do some item management here. Let's drop that. Uh, what else? What else do I need to drop? I think that's pretty much it. Just the Lugers. But, uh, I'm also gonna save here. So, yeah. Uh, I think this would actually be a really good time to end the episode here. Uh, we did a lot. We did a whole lot. Um, we're going to do a lot more in the next one. Uh, one of the things we're going to do is rescue Rodrigo. You know what I'm saying? Because I think he gives us something really special. So tune in for that. I uh, hope you guys had fun. Thank you guys so much for hanging out. It's always a pleasure playing for you guys. You know what I'm saying? And uh, I will catch you guys in the next episode. Later.